take a look at this one right here. This is the only one that's not in the plastic. All of the other ones are in the plastic. <laughs> What's up, y'all? Welcome back to another video. My name is Kyle. If you guys are new to watching, please hit that subscribe button down below. In today's video, we got a call from the comic book store people. Actually, nope, let's back up. Back up right there. We got a message from the comic book store people. People don't call people anymore, let's be honest. So they sent me a message and they said that they found some shirts. So you guys... Uh, the original buy, if you guys have been following, y'all know that I bought a closed down comic book store. I bought everything except the comic books themselves. I didn't have the resources to go through 20,000 comics, so I did not buy those. I bought everything else that they had, and while I was there picking it all up, I told them if they found any shirts, because they thought they had some shirts somewhere. If they found any shirts to let me know, I was definitely interested. They knew they had some shirts, they just didn't know where they were at. They messaged me earlier this morning, said, hey, we found a few shirts. Here's some photos of them. Are you interested? And I said, most definitely I am interested. All right. Uh, they sent me, I think, five pictures of the shirts, and I asked them how much they wanted. She said, I think they're probably worth about $100 each, which I know you guys are thinking, man, that's a steep price. But if you know what you're buying with the old Marvel shirts, you know, 100 bucks can be... A really good buy uh, sometimes maybe not but she did say hey if you buy them all we'll do a little better deal on them so five shirts 300 bucks that's not too bad all right uh, me and Hudson are gonna run over there real quick my uh, middle son Hudson you, if you guys have been following y'all know I got three kids John Matthew he's seven uh, Hudson's four and then we got baby Levi he's I think nine months now and uh, there's little Levi right there Real cute, yeah, I know, real cute. Until he takes a chunk out of your shoulder, then not so cute. But anyway, me and Hudson are going to go over there, and we're going to see if uh, if we come to a deal on these shirts, if I like them or not. Um, anyway, let's go. All right, we're here about to do the meetup. We're sitting outside of a, uh, a restaurant right here, waiting on the people to show up to see what kind of shirts they have. Hopefully, I can get some uh, footage of it, but I'm not real sure if I can or not, but definitely going to be showing you guys. Got the little man in the back with me. We're going to go to the playground after this. All right, you guys, I'm back at the house. Unfortunately, I did not get any footage of the buy. It was very quick. They had them in the trunk. I got out with the cash, looked at the shirts. Absolutely, I want them. You know, it was all of like 30 seconds because I've already dealt with these people before. So, you know, we know each other a little bit. Um, again, they said if they find anything else, they'll give me a call. Uh, so, I know you guys are probably thinking like, man, you know, that's a steep price for some shirts, $300. But... There's going to come a time, you know, in your business, I try not to give too much personal opinion about how you should run your business. I can tell you guys how I run mine, but if you're going to invest 300 bucks in yourself and you're going to make 300 back within 24 hours, and then you're going to make another three to four over the next two weeks, that's something that I personally uh, would jump on and do. Um... You know, making $300, you know, that's, if you made 300, that's a day's worth of pay, right? If you made 300 every day for 365 days, it's over 100,000 in a year. Tell me somebody that would not accept that, and uh, I'll tell you they're not my friend. So, that's a deal that I made, you guys. I'm willing to spend that on, on this stuff right here. I'm going to show you guys the shirts. Uh, four of them are actually in the plastic, so we can't get that good of a look at them because I'm not going to take them out of the plastic, but I'm still going to show you guys what I got, show you all some of the value of uh, this stuff right here. Take a look at this one right here. This is the only one that's not in the plastic. All of the other ones are in the plastic. 1995 uh, Marvel comic images uh, spider-man and venom absolutely just great made in the usa 100 percent cotton corset single stitch down here big giveaway right single single hem at the bottom as well just absolutely great shirt and um this one was the only one that's not new like i said 
but still a very good shirt did have some discoloration on the back right here you can kind of see nothing major though i don't think i think that this will be a uh, pretty good sale for this one now for the ones in the plastic so we have an x-men that's sealed 1995 x-men again comic images this is a classic shirt right here. I've seen this specific shirt. I can't remember the name of it, but it goes for really good money. So, again, the lady was saying, you know, that she thinks they're valued at $100 a piece. This one is worth more than that. This one is worth more than that. And I believe the two down here are worth more than that. So, I'm going to at least double up my money. Uh, extra large very good size when she told me that I'm like yeah that's that's uh, definitely a buyer now unfortunately with this one this bit of plastic is torn and it got some stains right there in that little circle um, everything else on it looks pretty fresh but that one little spot right there does have some stains on it super awesome shirt you guys and next we have a Sandman shirt here, DC Comics. Sandman shirt, new in the plastic also, size large, made in USA. Haynes Beefy T. It's gonna be a single stitch. Sandman uh, Tempest and Graffiti, I guess, is the company that's making this one. Fairly popular. And what is the date on this one? 1994 DC Comics. This is probably going to be the least valuable one right here. But I think that she's maybe spot on with this one. This is probably a $100 t-shirt since it's new in the plastic. So this might be the only one that I don't actually make any money on. But uh, some of the others you guys will see at the end are valued at way more than what she thought. So last right here we have two of these ice age um magic the gathering you know magic can be worth a lot of money just depending on what it is 1995 wizards of the coast new in the plastic here now these do have some stains on them unfortunately because this plastic is not sealed off it is just taped down it's still all original but some nasty stuff got in there and stained them up a bit uh, so, XL, again, really good size. Not made in the USA. A little bit newer, 95 there. Two of these. The other one was a large. Uh, it's not stained as bad as what it looks. That's the plastic on it there. It's actually fairly white underneath it there. You know, I'll charge more for the XL because XL is a more desirable size. Uh, then I will this one might be something I end up taking out of the package just to get a better look at because they are kind of stained but you guys if y'all could find one you know category or genre that you'd want to find over and over and over Marvel 90s Marvel t-shirts would probably be at the top of that list because some of these shirts can go for crazy amounts of money uh, the rarity the character the condition of them you know these are new old stocks unfortunately they do have some stains on them and just because they're old stock doesn't ever mean that they're going to be perfect you know they sit in boxes for decades and then you know stains just get in there on them and it's just one of those things that sometimes some dry rot can get to them if they're not kept inside these were in a house so you know, they all seem to be in pretty good condition. I pulled on the uh, collars of them and none of them stretched or anything like that. So they're all pretty good. You guys, I'm gonna throw some screenshots up here. Um, and this is one of those things that, this is why you wanna take that chance and make that investment. That Spider-Man Venom shirt sold within two hours, you guys. Right there's a screenshot of it. So I got my money back within two hours and the rest of this will just be profit. Well, I didn't quite get my money back I had um, you know minus fees almost got my money back and then it's all profit from there on out so even if you only sold the next four for 400 you know minus fees you doubled up your money and it's it's a pretty easy double up so if I were to ask you now 
if you give me $300, two hours later, I'll give you the $300 back. And then over the next week, I will give you another $300. Now who would take that? Probably everybody would take that bet, you know, because you're getting your money back within two hours. All you did was take some photos, put it online, you're going to ship it out. Now, that specific shirt, maybe I missed the mark. I might have listed it too low. It's one of those things where there wasn't an exact shirt like that on there. So I put it at what I thought was fair since it was used. And, um, you know, it sold super quick. Kind of tells me that I did list it too low. Maybe I should have ran an auction on it. But, uh, you know, if I thought it was fair, I'm going to go ahead and sell it to the guy. A uh, comic book store in Los Angeles bought it. So what he's going to undoubtedly do is he bought it from me for $300. He's going to hang it up in his store. And uh, he's in a place where he probably gets more traffic than what eBay does. So, you know, he might put a 1000 on it in his store. And then somebody that doesn't shop on eBay in Los Angeles comes through there and they're going to buy it. He's going to make some money. I made some money. You know, it's all good in the long run. Anyways, these other shirts are super sweet. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see y'all next time.